We are just one year away now from the start of the Summer Olympics. 23 Arkansas athletes are expected to compete in 2016, and it's expected there could be just as many in Tokyo. But tonight, we're focusing on University of Arkansas graduate Sandy Morris, who hopes to make it back onto the podium in women's pole vault. Her eye is on 2020, but there's another date this Olympic medalist has circled on the calendar. Sandy Morris knows a thing or two about preparing for life-changing moments. It all comes down to that one day. It was her final pole vault at the 2016 Summer Olympics. Oh, and she just comes up short. For a fraction of a second in the air, I thought it was a gold medalist. The Arkansas Razorback in her first Olympics takes the silver. The memory just as vivid as the neon shoes she wore that day in Rio de Janeiro. Comes in this really cool box. Sandy Silver. The physical symbol of all my hard work. And a reminder of what it will take to get to Tokyo in 2020. I know that when people say, oh my gosh, you almost had it, they they, they mean well by that, but at the same time, I'm like, people aren't gonna say that to me next time. I'm so motivated. Injury, the Arkansas alum is focused on her next title. Now I feel fully recovered. I'm on my game. While she's back here at home training at the home of the Hogs, Sandy's also preparing for an even bigger jump. What is that on your finger? <laughs> it's a ring. After a competition last year, Sandy's boyfriend Tyrone surprised her with a proposal. The two athletes met on the track and the relationship started to soar. He's a very outgoing person, kind of like me. Posing. Posing. And immediately we just hit it off. An Olympian himself, Tyrone was the flag bearer for his home country of Bermuda at the opening ceremony in Rio. He's a long jumper, so I think that just him being in the sport as well really helped us with that immediate bond with my baby. The pair has traveled the world together. Viva la Mexico. <laughs> Zooming around in Germany. But competing as a couple can have its challenges. I'll take a jump and kind of walk back and like see if I can catch a glimpse of him across the track. And it's it's hard sometimes because you want to watch each other, but at the same time, we both have business to complete. Their love is long distance now. Hello. But that will change on October 19th. Wanted to see how you were. <laughs> Instead of a runway, I'll be on the back of the aisle. The jumping duo is planning a destination wedding. It's going to be on a beach, and we wanted all of our friends to be able to come. From vaulting to marriage vows. Just like an attempt in the vault, you can't have any doubt in your mind. The bride-to-be approaches her big day just like the sport. You just have to, once you're there, you got to go for it. That brought her a spouse. Mrs. Sandy Morris Smith. And a new name. And Sandy, along with three other Razorbacks practicing with her in the story, are competing this weekend in the USA Nationals or the USA Championship in Des Moines, Iowa. She has to place in the top three to move on to the Worlds. We also learned about one of Sandy's other passions besides track and field. You can watch that part of the story as a web extra on our website, krk.com.